And so it comes to this, together again, that we were never parted. And you feel it, the hurt, the sorrow, the guilt, and it washes over you, strips away your flesh, it cleanses you. In only a moment, a single frayed thread in a string of time, everything changes. You have a nice house, Matthew. It was the first thing I noted about you. Not so much big, but comfortable, neat, well decorated. Nice motor too. Again, no murk or jag, a few years old too. But it cost a bit, but keep it nice. You like nice things, Matthew. I wouldn't like to do what you do, Matthew. Accounts managing? I'm not gonna lie either. I don't have a fucking clue what that is, but it sounds dope. You're in there somewhere, crunching numbers, photocopying, entering data, perving on some young temp, earning that nice house. And that nice car, that nice suit. You're a workaholic, Matthew. You might have been in there all day, but that's okay. I can wait. I've already been waiting a long time. Working lunch, Matthew? Never had one of those. You see, I'm missing a vital element. I see the way you glide through crowds like a snake. You leave no trail, no one pays you any attention, no second glances, no mind. You are invisible. Your normality makes you invisible. But I see you, Matthew. Everything in your life is so neat, so organized. Your direct debits never bounce. There's always enough money to cover your bills and even a bit left over for pub lunches and trips with a wife and kids. You've never known what it's like to live day to day on government handouts, to eat economy brand groceries all the time, to keep your curtains shut to avoid the bailiffs, or tell your kids that they can't have sweets because the last few quid gone on a gas meter. I want what you got. I want everything, Matthew. The secure house, the nice car, the expensive lunches, the spoiled, grateful wife, and the behaved kids. I want what sits behind that big door in your bank, the bottom line of your statement, and the figure you see when you tap those four digits into a wall. I want everything. That's okay, Matthew. Take your time, mate. I can wait. Hello, Ricky. It's been a while. And it's strange how quickly some things can change. You, however, can never change. I saw you, Ricky. I mean, who couldn't? Your presence begs attention. Your dress, it craves it. It lives to exist outside. 
And even from here, I can see your covetous eyes. My car. My suit. My neat, full wallet. Your envy reeks. We used to be the same, you and I. But I've moved on. Grown up, you might even say. But I crawled out of that hole. My fingernails bled as I dug my way out of that pit and into my fixed tracker mortgage, into my 1.6 hatchback. I did it. Me. That is something you will never do. You may want what I have. You may want to take what I have because you won't work for it. Why earn something when you can take it? That's your motto, isn't it, Ricky? You will never have what I have. Because I will never let you. <laughs>